Hey guys, welcome back to the Financial Minute. My name's Josh. As always, so glad you've joined me. I've been so busy lately, it seems, uh, trying to renovate a kitchen and get stuff done at the office. Making YouTube videos has been challenging, to say the least. And I haven't done a financial video in quite a while, and I miss it. But let's get to all that and much more right after this. Uh, I'll be honest, I, you know, we get a little bit down just. You know, it's hard creating content and you don't get a whole ton of views. You get some views. I've got, you know, a couple hundred subscribers now and, well, I guess you get used to growth and then you go through these dry spells where you don't get much growth. And it's hard. It's hard to keep it up. <clears throat> but I encourage you, if you have your own YouTube channel, don't give up. I'm not going to give up. Uh, I was watching another YouTuber talk about the challenges of starting a YouTube channel and it's tough it is I'm not gonna lie uh, it's tough having a family having a full-time job uh, plus renovating a house what we're doing right now especially if you're just doing it yourself because you don't have you know a ton of money to hire someone to do the whole project or you just don't want to spend that money to hire someone to do a whole project uh, but we're doing it and I'm back guys so today we're gonna talk about how you can create financial freedom. It doesn't take somebody with a lot of money to start with. Even if you're as poor as poor, there's ways to create financial freedom. It really all does start up in your mind. You gotta you gotta get there in your mind first. You gotta get to the point where you're saying, you know what, I'm gonna do what it takes. I'm gonna put in the time, the effort, train myself, uh, educate myself, Education nowadays is free. You just got to know where to look. You can train yourself on how to add a new, maybe a new certificate to your education so you can move up the ladder a little bit in your job. Maybe you're at a dead end job. Uh, maybe it's time to move on to something that has more ability to move up. Uh, no matter what your job is, taking on a side hustle is always a good idea. Uh, there's so many side hustles. I'll put a link up here for a video on side hustles. I've done a video about that in the past. Make sure you check it out. I think it's 16 side hustles. Just give you some ideas on where to start when it comes to side hustles. So financial freedom can be yours if you just set your mind to it. You don't have to have money to start with. You don't have to come from a certain family. You can be financially free. Yes, you. Anybody can do it. It really just takes some thought out planning. What am I going to do? Am I going to move up the ladder where I work? Am I going to plan on getting another job? Am I going to get a side hustle? Maybe start selling uh, or reselling some stuff on the side? Uh, or, you know, any other myriad of side hustles? Photography, videography, uh, Flipping watches, flipping cards, you know, the list goes on and on and on. But I need a side hustle. Uh, I need to plan on moving up the ladder or plan on getting the, the credentials to get a different job. Uh, that may cost a little bit. It might not cost anything. You know your situation. Maybe you're, you know, at a convenience store, you work at a convenience store, but you can become the manager or the district manager, etc. You just got to put in that effort and start applying. Uh, maybe it means you have to move to a different part of the country uh, where that job is available. Uh, maybe it means taking on a second job for a while. You know your situation, but it really does start in your mind. Also, exercising, getting your body in shape uh, goes a long ways for creating that mindset of, I can do it. Because uh, you got to wake up in the morning and have energy. And, and you need to be, you know, you need, your body needs to be in decent shape. You need to eat healthy. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean you need to spend a ton of money on your food, but there are certain foods that are healthier than others uh, in the same price point. 
beans and rice is healthier than pizza, for instance. Well, guys, you know what you can do. I'm just giving you ideas on how you can create financial freedom. Eventually, you need to get to the point where you have some extra money. And then, then with that extra money, you need to invest it. You need to start getting your mindset into the, I'm not going to go out and buy that newest fashion or the new TV or a new watch. I'm going to take that money and invest it for the future. I'm going to pay myself first. So many people pay themselves last, if at all. Uh, they spend their whole paycheck just repaying other people on stuff that they didn't need and is probably uh, broken already. A lot of people are paying debts on their credit card for stuff that is long gone. Uh, they're still paying for it. You gotta buy things that you need, not things that you want, and things that will appreciate in value, like assets, stocks, bonds, uh, fine, maybe fine gold, silver, uh, real estate, things that go up in value, or at least hold their value. Not things like cars, uh, watches, jewelry, some jewelry I suppose hold its value, but uh, clothing, you get the idea anyways. It's really a mind thing like I've been saying all along. You've got to train yourself to buy things that hold their value and gain value rather than things that depreciate and turn to dust. And you've got to stop using credit cards to buy pretty much anything unless you're paying those credit cards off every month and you're only buying things you absolutely need and you, you can use a credit card to only buy things you would absolutely buy with cash. Otherwise, I recommend switching over to cash just to help train yourself that when you do buy something, it's coming out of your pocket, whether you use a credit card or cash. Well, guys, I rambled a little bit, but the gist of this video is you really need to get your mind and body, you know, on the same page. You need to start thinking about what you buy and spend your money on and create a budget. This way you're not buying things all month long and then you get to the end of the month and you spent all your money and you didn't buy anything that is going to gain value. And you may not have an idea of what you spent your money on. You need to start writing down what you spend your money on and then create a budget and only buy what you need and then invest the rest. Start living on less than you make and this is how you're going to get to financial freedom. I guarantee it you got to start living on less than you make, and you will get to financial freedom. Uh, it may come slower for others, and then along the way, you got to start adding some extra income onto that through side hustles, moving up the ladder at your job, and maybe purchasing assets that pay dividends. This is how you get to financial freedom. I hope this helps somebody, helps somebody who's maybe struggling with their YouTube channel, which, by the way, can be a side hustle or a full-time career down the road. Uh, don't give up on that channel. That can be a excellent side hustle or your, your uh, future full uh, career and some. Guys, I hope this encourages you. If it does, let me know down in the comments below. Oh yes guys, and don't forget to drop a like. Hit that like button, it really does help me out, it helps grow my channel. And if you could, hit the subscribe button if you're interested in growing your finances. And like I said, share the video if you could. I will see you all in the next video. Remember, only you can make your financial dreams come true. Don't delay, get started today. Be safe, God bless, bye. Mm -hmm.